the No Fate channel? Checking in. And what do I have here? That's right, Duncan may have officially taken the donuts out of their name, but for Halloween, they're releasing these special donut treats, and we're going to get into it. First and foremost, we're going to go over the hard to find, almost impossible to find, spicy donut. Yes, this is uh, extremely difficult to find. We're going to go over what it is, what it's topped with, um, how to actually get it, because it's not as easy as rolling through the drive through and then we're going to do a taste test, because... Man, I'm hungry, and these things do smell good. Also, we're going to talk about whether these are going to be right for your kids. If this is your first time to the channel, hey, hit that subscribe button below. This channel, me, I am dedicated to helping you dads and moms be great parents to your kids and still accomplish your own personal goals. And I basically just do tons of random videos, it seems, but the reality is... A lot of them are, ge are geared towards family life, and that just happens to be donuts. I remember as a child growing up in New England, Dunkin' Donuts was the premier donut shop. I mean, you can probably remember those commercials, time to make the donuts. I literally thought as a kid that they had a little old man working at every one of those donut franchises early in the morning to make the donuts. Believe it or not, back in the day, you'd walk into Dunkin' Donuts, and there would be walls of donuts, and I mean a whole wall dedicated to donuts sky high and the variety and the options were endless now you walk into a dunkin donuts uh i should say dunkin and it's just like a little sled with some generic donuts that look like they're like they're over a day old they got dust on them no one even thinks about getting donuts anymore that's all like sandwiches and coffees right they're not even promoting the donuts so i was amazed when i learned that dunkin was releasing new Halloween donuts. They actually released three donuts. They released the bigger one that we're going to talk about in a second. They released this spider one, which apparently is an annual donut that they released. It's got a little munchkin on top. It smells absolutely delicious. They released a, 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 a donut kit, a kit, I guess you get it. You do some kit stuff and you know, you bring it with the kids and they can decorate their own donuts. If that's something you're interested in seeing me review, hey, drop it in the comments below. And they released the spicy donut, right? This spicy donut is extremely hard to come by. I went to four Dunkin' Donuts, none of them had them. Even though the app says, oh, they're available, they're ready to come by, they're, they're there, right? But unfortunately, they're not. I actually had a call, and this is, how, this is a trick on how to actually get them. First and foremost, you got to go early. They don't make donuts in the afternoon. They make them in the morning. They get them all st stacked. They get them from wherever they get them. They put them on the shelves, and when they're gone, they're gone. you got to go early. Call in advance. Figure out which Dunkin's you're going to go to. Call to see if they have them, and tell them, hey, hold it. I'm on the way. And that's what they did. They held it for me. Uh, so why is Dunkin releasing these temporarily, and why are they so popular? A few things. As we know, when you've got a limited edition anything, they tend to go fast. They tend to be um, higher in value in terms of people's perception of getting them before they run out. The hype tends to be through the roof. Also, they brought in for the advertisements, the guy who does hot wings, and I will put his photo up here. I love that YouTube channel, but he's done a ton of good stuff, and he did like a cool commercial to drive the hype up even higher. One of the things that these are supposed to be topped with is ghost pepper. Supposedly, there's cayenne pepper, there's regular pepper, and there's a little bit of ghost pepper, supposedly. If you're not familiar with ghost pepper, it's like one of, if not the top, uh, hotness with respect to peppers and just how hot it is. And people love to get, um, love to try hotter and hotter things just to kind of push their palates. It's supposed to be a strawberry donut with um, tons of spiciness on top. So there's the, there is, bum, 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 the front of it, that nice glaze. Just smells like a regular donut with a little bit of cream sauce. I'll show you the back here real quick before I dive in. And we are gonna just plow through these things. I'll put the calorie count up here. Let's get into it. Let me know in the comments below two things. Two things. One, which is your favorite donut? And two, have you tried this spicy donut? Drop it in the comments below. First, this is probably the first donut I've had in almost 10 years, probably 10 years. And that's a testament to 
how poorly Dunkin's has done marketing their donuts, how little they care about selling donuts whatsoever. That's obvious. They took the donuts out of their name. And third, how good they are doing at marketing this limited release spicy donut. What does it taste like? It tastes like um, a regular donut with a little bit of hot sauce on the top. It's, it's like a strawberry hot sauce with a little kick. You don't notice the spice until the end. After the swallow, then it kind of flares up. Not that hot. It's like, it's probably, it's probably like the equivalent of like a little bit of cayenne pepper mixed in. Do you notice it? Absolutely. It's got that nice kick. It actually doesn't taste bad. So sometimes when you get this stuff that's too hot, it just burns your mouth. It's just not enjoyable. This is nice because you get that yin and yang. You get that spiciness on the front, but you kind of get that bread factor in there. That's the donut factor that, that kind of quelches a lot of that kick. Very, very good. Overall, is this spicy donut extremely spicy? No, not really, especially with the donut factor kind of dulling down a lot of that kick. You don't get the spiciness until like three seconds post swallow. Certainly good. It's actually better tasting than I thought it was going to be and a lot more enjoyable. Is the hype real? Would I run to a Dunkin Donuts to pick one of these up? No, but I would say if it's Halloween, you're going through to get a coffee. I would say if they have it in, definitely pick it up just to say you tried it. Is it right for your kids? If you have kids, some of you do. Um, if they wanted to try it for whatever reason, I wouldn't be nervous about giving it to them. I don't think it's going to upset their stomach and I don't think by any means it's going to ruin their mouth or set their mouth on fire. Again, it's probably the equivalent of like a Frank's Red Hot. Nothing spicy at all really about it for many of you because I know many of you are putting some crazy spices on your food. Um, let's finish this down. Let's just finish this thing while I have it here, right? It is a good donut after all. And then let's talk about this spider donut to see if it actually compares to the spicy donut, which one's actually better for you when you're going through that drive through when you've got a donut kick and which one might be better for your kids. All right, two spicy donuts and not one drink of of water yet, so clearly not that spicy. Now, this is another donut that they put out specifically for Halloween, temporary. <clears throat> it is their spider donut. You can order it on the app. You can ask for it by name. Um, by my recollection, they put this out last year. I think they still had the Dunkin' Donuts in their name, but as you can see, it does look like a spider. You got that munchkin on top, and you got this orange glaze absolutely 100 halloween related unlike the spicy donut here let's bite in and see how it tastes real good donut texture you get some nice donut bite you get that chocolate kick from the drizzle there that you can see right here that chocolate drizzle and then this orange stuff almost tastes like if you've ever bitten into like a, a, a Boston cream pie, tastes a little bit like that cream, like it's hardened on top, whatever they used, kind of gives you that impression. Yeah, this one's good, man. This is actually better than that spicy donut, especially Halloween related. Much, much better, much more enjoyable, especially that munchkin on top adds a little bit of value and you get that real nice different texture of the chocolate munchkin. Just a slightly different texture in munchkin versus the donut. So three donuts down. I'll put the calorie count up here in case you actually care. Um, where did the fourth donut go? Because you did see two two packs. Um, <clears throat> I did get a pumpkin donut for the missus. Sent that with her on her way. So I didn't eat all four of those donuts. I only ate three, which I'm still probably going to regret later on. But overall, spicy donut. Is it worth picking up? Sure. Pick yourself up a donut. Enjoy it. Know what the hype is about. Is it overhyped? Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the things a lot of these companies do is create the hype and then pull back on the quantity so that you roll through the drive through ask for that spicy donut. And they say, oh, we're all out. 
and you order something else, right? It's ways for them to generate traffic to the store. They obviously don't make much money on that spicy donut when the marketing's all said and done. It's what you buy with that donut. Um, but that spider donut, absolutely a must buy. If you've got kids, you want to treat them, pick up that spider donut. Good value with that munchkin on top. Really good taste and texture. And obviously, certainly filling based on the calorie count. Um, Hopefully you found this video informative. Let me know in the comments below again, your favorite donut and if you've tried that spicy donut. And hey, if you wanna see me review their, their donut decorating kit specifically for Halloween, drop it in the comments below. If you came this far in the video, you know what to do. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button as usual. Thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.